Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, today we are going to be creating a chess block. So this is a user, our uh, community member um, tutorial suggestion uh, by the community. You can find their channel in the description as well as uh, linked in the workspace. Uh, so you can check out them if you want to, um, you know, just support them as well. Uh, outside of that, uh, let's create a chest. So first thing we need to do is go to resources and we need to import our block textures. Now if you're importing a 3D um, model then you're still going to need to import your textures first but you're going to link it through your 3D model uh, rather than your, uh, your block. So we're going to go to our desktop and I'm going to select the texture folder. I'm going to select bottom and we're going to import another block texture side one and block texture side two and block texture side three and block texture side four and finally block texture top. So those are our six textures that we're going to be working with. Um, we now need to create a block and we're going to call it our mod name and then our element type and then we're going to call it barrel and now we're going to add our front texture as the block, um, our barrel top. Um, and our back is going to be our back texture there, our bottom texture. And what we want to do is select our sides. I've organized it so it should align perfectly fine when we're um, placing it down. So it should align properly um, this time around. This is the second time I've recorded this video because it's not been properly weighed out but uh, hopefully today it will be working fine. So I'm going to add block rotation based on um, player side, uh, all sides there. And we don't need transparency, it's fine the way it is. We're going to call it barrel. And I'm going to quickly pop open the Minecraft wiki. The uh, blast resistance and craft wiki breaking. So these two places will help you figure out your hardness and resistance. So I'm going to scroll down until I find. Where is it? Uh, chest would be a good one to use. If I can find it. Uh, Piston. Bed. Ah, chest. Here we go. Alright, so 2.5. That's what we need for our chest, and this is under breaking. So breaking is our hardness, so 2.5. And our blast resistance is... Lock chest is there. This shouldn't be too far away. Chest. Ah, yeah, chest. Okay. And then trap chest. So 12... 12.5. And then we're going to put it under decorations. We're going to select it, select it to wood. Wood unselects uh, affected by silk touch. We're going to set it to uh, axe. And we don't need that harvest level um, for a stone tool. So that's all good. Uh, next step that you need to do is enable inventory. We're going to set this to 27. Uh, 9 times 3 is 27, so that's how many slots we're going to be adding. And then we're going to leave all the settings alone, and we're going to go next. Uh, we're going to be adding a right-click procedure in just a moment after we create the GUI, so we're going to click next and click next, and now we have our barrel. 
So now comes the fun part. Uh, we need to now create a GUI and we're going to create our mod name. So Northwest Trees Gaming block and or not block, it's not a block. So we're going to go GUI block because it's referencing to the block that we're going to be making um, for the, or the GUI for the block that we're making. Barrel and create new. Uh, we want to uh, bind the GUI to the barrel and then we're going to go in here. We're going to turn on snap uh, components to the grid and we need to add a bunch of input slots. So the easiest way to do that is by just literally adding them. Uh, we want to leave the inherited thing alone, uh, pretty much everything here you just want to leave alone outside of the mod or slot ID. Uh, you want to start with zero and work your way up by one digit, so I'm just going to do the first few. Um, I'm going to measure it so it's about here, and then we're going to place down our first slot. And we're going to add a new, and we're going to update the number to one, oops. And we're going to place it right next to it. And we're going to do this uh, for every slot. So it's going to take some time, so I'm just going to uh, cut out here, and then I'll cut back in when it's done. Alright, so I just have a couple more slots to do. And we're going to basically move on to the next step and that's adding a title to the um, the uh, GUI so we're gonna go to add text label we're gonna call it barrel uh, we're gonna select the texture to RBG uh, it's a little hard to see up here with the uh, text being black and um, the the color of it being gray, but uh, RBG is red, green, blue, or RGB, RGB is uh, red, green, blue. So from that, um, Minecraft uses 64, 64, and 64 for red, G, green, blue, and uh, alpha is the transparency. Uh, you can just leave that alone. You don't need to edit that particular color. Um, but if you were to do that, it makes it more transparent. Uh, we're not going to be needing to adjust that. So just click, uh, make it so it's 64 all the way across and click next and click next. And we're going to actually set our offset to 20 and we're going to put it right here. So that's all done. Uh, we can save settings now and click next. So our GUI is all set up. Uh, now we need a procedure, our mod element, our procedure tag, and the block tag. So, and then finally the type of block it is. And now we can create a quick open GUI uh, function where this will open up the inventory. This is going to be for a right click event. And we're going to go over to our barrel next. And we're going to select our on right click and then select our block uh, barrel, so like so. And then we're going to click next. And that's all we need to do for setting up the actual barrel. So I'm going to hop in game and just do a quick showcase of how the barrel works and everything like that. And I'll see you then. Alright, so we're in game. Um, we can grab the barrel from decorations all the way down at the bottom here. And uh, we're going to test a few things. Now there are a few different things that you can do with this. You can also add a smelting recipe because it is wood. Um, now another thing that you might want to want to do is create a recipe as well. And um, so basically you can use it as fuel or um, smelting recipe or well, not so much a smelting recipe, but a crafting recipe would be probably a couple ideas that you can add to this barrel. So as you can see, if we it faces the way that we're rotating. So it's on the player side of the rotation, and if we go up like that, it rotates as well. Um, another thing that you might notice is the textures. Um, it's a little hard to see. 
uh, but the darker rim around here is all at the bottom, uh, no matter on what rotation the block is at. So as you can see, both sides are like that. Uh, you're going to run into that problem, um, like if it not being uh, proper, you might want to open up, say, paint.net and just rotate the textures so they um, have all the six sides and stuff like that. So um, that's the only thing that I noticed is even though that you rotated it the right directions, the texture for the block seems to be off. So you have to kind of offset the rotation a little bit for the two sides. Um, I'll just place them down like this so it's familiar to the grid. So the two sides right here and here. So when you're actually making your textures, uh, these sides have to be flipped. If you're in, um, are rotated uh, twice. So uh, if you're in paint.net and you rotate, say the top texture, here, this actually needs to be over here, and that texture needs to be here, and then this texture is fine from being flipped from that one. But um, other than that, it works perfectly fine. Uh, let's just test the um, block inventory. So I'm just going to put a bunch of grass in there. As you can see, two different inventories. Uh, that should work fine on multiplayer servers with this particular setup. Um, because it's block specific, it's um, focused on the block properties uh, for the GUI, not the um, server side of things. See, uh, global variables are server side, as if local variables are specific to that particular block. So, yeah, um, not that variables have to do with anything like with this, but. It's basically the same concept. If you want something to work on servers, it needs to be on specifically on a certain block rather than on a global aspect of things, unless you're actually intending it to be that way. But uh, outside of that, I uh, hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna leave the uh, workspace down in the description uh, to Mediafire. So if you wanna download, test it out for yourself, learn from it, and um, also, the credits uh, for the suggestion are in the description as well as their channel link. So definitely check out them. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Like the video because it does really actually help uh, get these videos out there. And um, outside of that, comment, let me know what you liked about it. And I'll see you guys next time.